Welcome to the Dreaming Sun. In this video, you're going to learn about brainwaves, what they are, how they form, and the four major types of brainwaves that you experience every day. So why is it important to learn about brainwaves? Well, what research has found is that when you're in different states throughout the day, that these different states are associated with different brainwave patterns. That is, if you're feeling deeply relaxed and peaceful, or you're feeling highly stressed and anxious, or you're deeply focused and concentrated in the moment, then these different states have a different brainwave pattern. This is important because once you know what the brainwave pattern is for these states, then you can use various techniques to be able to put yourself in the state you want to be in on demand. So what are brainwaves? Well, let's take a look at your brain. Your brain is made up of billions of different neurons. And the way the brain operates is that these neurons talk to each other. And when the neurons do this, they fire off little pulses of electricity. So if there's millions of these different neurons talking to each other at one time, then there's gonna be a significant amount of electricity being given off by your brain. And there's equipment like the EEG machine that is able to pick up this electricity given off by your brain. So depending on what state you're in in the moment, then your brain is gonna be given off a certain amount of electricity. And these are called brain waves because of their wave-like patterning. So now let's take a look at the four major brain waves that you experience every day, starting with the beta brain wave. The beta wave, which ranges between 13 and 100 cycles per second, is the brain wave that you're in most of the day and is associated with waking consciousness. Uh, in the lower ranges, just above 13, this is associated with um, concentration and alertness. And then once it gets over 30, this is um, when you would be in a state of anxiety or stress, uh, also known as the flight or fight response. So the alpha brain wave ranges between eight and 12.9 cycles per second. When you're in this state, it's normally associated with the body's relaxation response. That is, the brain will be given off calming neurotransmitters. At the higher alpha, around 12.9, you will um, experience super learning, uh, such as times when you're engrossed in a book. If we come down a little bit, um, you'll, uh, this is associated with when you're going in and out of sleep, that drowsiness um, is associated with that change of consciousness and feeling deeply relaxed, but you're still aware of your surroundings. And then if we come into deep alpha, this is normally associated with um, meditation because you're deeply relaxed and you're uh, in a deep contemplative state. So now if we come down to the theta brainwave state, um, this is ranges between four and 7.9 cycles per second. Uh, and in this state, this is associated with REM sleep. Um, this is a time when we're highly creative and our memories are being consolidated and it's when we integrate all the experiences we've had throughout our day and it's very important that we access this every day so we can integrate our experiences and make sense of the world. Um, Carl Jung described um, the theta um, brainwave state as being the doorway to the unconscious mind and it is this state that um, Zen meditators can access through their different meditation. So now we're going down to the delta brainwave which ranges between 0.1 and 3.9 cycles per second. If you're experiencing delta brainwave, then you're in deep, dreamless sleep. Uh, Carl Jung uh, called this the collective unconsciousness, and in spiritual terms, it's known as unity consciousness, which sometimes experienced meditators uh, experience during their meditation practice, and it's a time when they uh, lose themselves as a separate being, and they just experience all of life as one vibrating energy field. So if you want to learn how to be able to put yourself in these different brain waves on demand, then I suggest you click the link below to watch my next video on brain wave entrainment.